Two men looking at securing their shot at the Bama World Welterweight title. Are evenly matched on paper, just three years in age and one inch in height between them. Both men have had three professional bouts, with Plant suffering just the one loss. However, he takes on an unbeaten rising star in his own backyard in the co-main event of the night. The question therefore is, who will be the daddy? Our own big daddy on the mic, Buddy Johnson, will get our co-main event started. Now, inside the cage tonight, we are ready for three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. First, we introduce your blue corner. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed in officially at 170.3 pounds. He holds a professional record of two wins against a single defeat. Representing Impact MMA from Leicester, England, make some noise for Josh Power Plant. And we introduce his opponent in the red corner. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in officially at 171 pounds, even. He has an undefeated record of three wins. Representing SBG Island from Dublin, Ireland. Make some noise for keeper BDK Crosby. Oh, Chris, you talk about support. Conor McGregor is in the house. Charge is Mr. Daniel Moverheady. Chris, the atmosphere, as Dan calls them together, really went up a notch there. As we said, McGregor's in the house. The crowd, they went ballistic for this man. And Kiefer Crosby has promised he is, quote, the next big thing in Irish MMA. Josh Plant has come here to spoil the party tonight. The crowd in the three arena at Fever Pitch. Oh, big exchange there. Plant was swinging for him, but there's the takedown. Kiefer expected this. He said he's only going to go in there and shoot on me once he feels my power. Yes, and a, and a good work there from Kiefer to keep it up right when Plant came in. And as you said, it's from that short exchange, bristling with power and energy, though, Chris. Good tie up here. This is where he's going to be able to work his game. We talked about that black belt in judo. Gives you a good base and a good way to kind of trip and throw your opponent in the clinch. Oh, lazy leg there. Keeper able to catch it. In come the punches. Oh, this is what Plant didn't want. I thought he was doing well. I think that Plant's best chance, as we said, was to slow Big Daddy down, get him out of his rhythm, and slowly but surely squeeze the pace out of him. But he can't afford to make mistakes like that frequently. Already marked up around the face. Big kick there from Kiefer. He got clipped with a left hook on the exit, though. Plan is dangerous. You can't sleep on a stand-up. And this is the judo. Body lock, gonna look for the outside trip. Kiefer trying to work his way out of this position here, but Plant can take us back. And, and this is the right tactic from Plant. We saw the power, the energy from Kiefer. And for me, Josh, this is what he needs to do to slowly wear his man down to get something out of this. 50-50 here. Both guys have an under and an over. Oh, the tension palpable here at the three arena, Malcolm. Yeah, and there's blood already, Chris. Somebody's bleeding, I'm not sure which one, but they're so close and locked up on the short, sharp shots. Bobby well, looks a little bit tired, Malk. I mean, he's thrown some big bombs, and he obviously got clipped, but both guys needed to weather the early storm. Interestingly, that was a key to victory for me on both sides. Well, Plant just threw a left hook there, and you wouldn't have guessed it from Crosby's reaction. That was a good left hook, Chris. Oh, nice snap kick there from Crosby. Digging the ball to feed him. Oh, big left hook lands again. And Crosby closing the gap now. Plant felt these heavy shots. Listen to the crowd. Plant gets back up. Rocky stuff here, Chris. Incredible opening round. Huge surge of punches there from Josh Plant. Crosby throwing everything but the kitchen sink. We've got a fight tonight in Dublin. Great refereeing by Dan Moverhady as well. I mean, Crosby came in for the kill there. And what happens? Plant stands back up and starts throwing shots. And here Crosby comes again. And Plant throwing back, he's bleeding, he's bloody, but he's still there. Incredible opening round, look at this, Chris. Huge flurry here from both men. Left hook there from Plant, Plant in the blue, Crosby in the red. Both guys both cut, absolutely Chris. rocked on Wobble Street, bearing the signs of battle. They're both cut, Chris. What an opening round this is. We thought it'd be a war. Plant telling us Crosby's right eye is bleeding heavily, and he 
He shakes his head, Plant has shown his, his nose is swelling, his eyes are almost shut, and he's still here, and the crowd go crazy as game. Can you believe this opening, Chris? And both guys promised to knock each other out in the first. They've certainly tried. Oh, my goodness, and we still got just under two minutes. Unbelievable stuff, because hardly time to draw a breath. I, says, I still think this is the right tactic from Plant, but when Crosby goes ballistic, Plant comes back at him. That's what's made this so good. Yeah, Kiefer said, I expect him to come in and try to press a clinch in the takedown. Maybe he didn't expect him to throw hands like that. Josh Plant can box. Kiefer Crosby, though, this is his specialty, elbows. Wicked elbows, nice knees, listen to the crowd every single time he connects here. But look at Plant come back, and I think that's the one thing Crosby didn't expect, was to be cut himself, and Plant still there, but Plant was rocked by that knee. Finally starts to go to the canvas. This is unbelievable stuff. Oh, my goodness, Chris. While it lasted, it was unbelievable. Big Daddy Keefe signature style with Conor McGregor watching. It doesn't get any more crazy than that in MMA, Malcolm. And Chris, look at that face, bloodied, and that's the winner. That shows you how intense this bag was. Look what he had to do to secure that win. I think Plant shocked him with his tactics, standing there and trading. That made this the bout of the night. Oh, my goodness. Getting attention, and that's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. And they are surging here, cage side dancing in the bleachers, and here's why. Crosby went in and really threw massive looping power shots. Look at him loading up, but the problem is he wasn't minding his defense, and Plant was happy to try to counter with looping shots of his own. Crosby, though, just bit down on his mouthpiece, charges onwards. Unbelievable stuff here at Bama 35. Incredible, incredible, Chris. Takedown here from Plant, looking for that head inside position, but then Crosby went to work with the elbows. Not enough intelligent defense. Daniel Robohidi was taking into account everything that happened there, Malcolm, and he waved that one off. It's a TKO for Big Daddy Keith. Our referee, Mr. Daniel Mobahedi, called a stoppage to this bout at three minutes, 47 seconds into the first round. Declaring your winner by TKO with strikes in the red corner, keeper BDK. It's safe to say that that was a bit of a mad scene, yeah? Oh, baby, I'm gonna have a fucking headache tomorrow. <laughs> Them elbows, Kiefer, absolutely. They, 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 had, they were the two that opened the up. They separated. Yes, man, it was tough. Fair play to Josh. Everybody give Josh a clap. He's an animal. I didn't, uh, I didn't underestimate him on the feet, but I thought he was gonna just come in and try to take me down, but he stood toe to toe and had a knock. And fair play to him. I have a lot of respect for him, so fair play to him. What's the story with this goal? What's happening, Dublin? Listen, who wants to see me fight for the Bama World Title? Exactly. Pascal's gonna knock Lahore down in about 10 minutes. But let the fans decide. Whoever you wanna see fight for the gold next. But it's me. Tell that old man I'm coming. Ladies and gentlemen, keep on crossing.